Well, we're back again. Um, nothing's really happened. This is probably what it's going to become, everybody. This is probably that grand show that we all wanted to really see, but now it's just going to be lightning. And, uh, I've been checking AccuWeather. Uh, they're not looking very hopeful either. Um, we were hoping it'd be a little bit more. That's the way the world works, I guess. Oh, look at that. There's still some good stuff out here, though. If, you know, it's not the end of the world. But, see, that's all it's going to be. Like, it's cool. But uh, we're not going to get any major, major wind gusts past 25 miles an hour. Which is enough to kind of push me backwards. Can you imagine a car coming at you at 25 miles an hour? <laughs> that would hurt. Okay, I don't care who you are. Not exactly the most pleasant thing. So now, oh, wind's picking up. Wind is picking up, and I'm standing right underneath the tree. <laughs> this tree, actually. That tree right there. Oh shit, that scared me. That guy in his motorcycle, man. He hasn't been getting the engine ticked right, so sometimes it scares the shit out. Nobody actually knows what he's doing to that motorcycle. Whew, gave me a little heart pump there. It's not going to sound the same on video. Okay, so now, uh, I have been having a bad cold, so I apologize for the, uh, the voice, but that's all I got. Um, I have my cell phone in my pocket, and it's probably not the smartest thing to have a phone and a cell phone out here, but there's plenty of other, uh, towers for the lightning to hit. Look at that freaking, look how close I am to that freaking, but it's the only way I can get good, good shots. You know, I need good shots. This shit for you guys. What I need to do is get up higher, but if I get too high, then I can't see shit. <laughs> We still hear some thunder in the distance. The last major tornado. I mean, we've had a few small ones here in the last decade or so. But the last major one that ripped through downtown and pretty much destroyed the entire Main Street area. It was in 1982, and my dad remembers that. My grandparents. Oh, God, they remember that all. Uh, interesting times. I was alive for the uh, 1995 last, I guess you could call it a semi semi whopper semi twister it did rip off our fence line and split our tree in half but uh i was three years old so i don't remember much of it i'll tell you what i remember i was dreaming of a freight train and as the thunder got louder the train got closer and then when my mom woke me up i about had a heart attack because i thought the train had hit me <laughs> And we went into the, the closet in the middle of the house, in their room. It's just, the closet was kind of in the middle. And, it, like I said, it took off our fence. It's very similar to that one, right there. See that line right there? That line, just keep following that line. And then we had some that looked like that too, but it was a little lower to the ground. And uh, it took that off. But it kept the rest of the house okay. The playground equipment was still there. So that shows you what uh, try out creepy tornadoes can be. They pick up what they want to pick up. They're very random. Now, you go up further in Oklahoma. Uh, south, I mean, further south. Uh, and, well, no, you can go to Oklahoma City. They get a bunch of tornadoes all the time. And south of us, near Vernon and Frederick, they had some nasty, last week, some nasty uh, tornadoes that hit the state just southwest of Dallas and Fort Worth and they ripped it killed six people and it caused a couple million dollars in damage and there's still 14 people missing from that that pro that time it was so sudden too they didn't think it was gonna hit them and all of a sudden boom it all hit and yeah okay so the last st electrical storm hit the power box which you can it's um see if I can get up close it's somewhere in that black zone right here it's I can't get too close because the power line is over there and it's not doing too well right now because I think it got hit because we heard a boom before I got like it and uh, the power is right there somewhere in that corner if you can see my finger 
Well, anyway, when that struck, it blew out all the TVs, even though they were off and unplugged, and they were off, and we had a surge protector. It didn't hit the 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 power line; it hit the cable box. Of all the freaking things to hit, it hit the cable box. And well, anyway, we're trying not. We unplugged everything this time, except for the the safety lamps and whatnot, because we don't feel like having to pay for that all again. Five freaking new electrical, major electrical appliances had to get replaced. But home insurance covered it. Thank you, home insurance. Which isn't mine, but thank you anyway. So now I'm just kind of going between... If I go in the front of the house, I'll get blocked by this giant big rig that's there right now that came when I turned the camera off, so it's not going to matter where I go. The backyard, here's the best place to be. I'm here. And, uh, <laughs> she's just making sure I didn't wander off and I'm okay. <laughs> That's nice of her, isn't it? So, I'm sorry I don't get to see very much. But, uh, well, this is what it's becoming. So let's go ahead and go around. Uh, we're getting to get more lightning, but... Uh, ooh, I think this is the cable box. Okay, this is the outlet right here that it hit uh, as well because the cable box was plugged up here in the corner and it came down here and it went through there. But, uh, under it's gone. And now you can see it a little bit better from the front, the side of the house. I don't know how to do it, but do it somehow. You got bugs everywhere. Go away. Okay. So we're getting a couple of decent shots. I wish I could show you guys a much better picture. But oh, there were some circles up there. I don't know if you saw. They're starting to form some circles. That's. I mean, we are on warning, so it's not like. You know, it's not like we're gonna die, but. There's some stuff forming. We got some freaking cicadas that won't stop bugging the hell out of me. It's our neighbor's house. Now we're getting to some big stuff. Let's check over here. I saw something over here. There it goes. That's what we're looking for. I'm really glad the hail's done though, because that. That was starting to that was starting to become a real pain. Uh, I couldn't. There's no way I was going to be able to sleep with the metal roof on the house across the street. Bing, 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 all over the place. Oh, they got all kinds of people. I'll be right back.